Yo, 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 what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, it's your host, Calvin Domingo, aka Steezy A. Smith with Press Sports. And today, you guys should know by saying by now, but if you don't, man, you gotta start getting with the program. But I don't got a VIP, I got a VIG, and that stands for another very important guest for our fourth ever exclusive interview with Press Sports. Um, and I'd be remiss not to mention the fact that over here on the app, we want to feature users who have a story to tell. And the man to my left or to my right or my left and my left, actually, both sides, uh, whichever way you guys are looking at it from. But this man right here has a very, very important story to tell. Um, and so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome uh, the number one two sport athlete in the U.S., a junior Olympic champ, seven time record holder, two time Gatorade athlete of the year, and a two time All American. He's currently on the track and field roster for the Arizona State Sun Devils. Please, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome Mr. Dylan Peters. What's going on? What's going on, bro? How you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. I'm blessed. Blessed. Hey, I always like to say, I feel blessed by the best. <laughs> so, you know, sure, right. I, I definitely appreciate hearing that. Um, What's But Dylan. Cool? Hey, bro, we just going to get right into it. So I got to ask, bro, let's, let's start from when you were a youngin. What got you into basketball and track, and at what age, and did you play any other sports besides those two growing up? I played, I played plenty of sports. I played basketball, track, soccer, baseball, tennis. Right. I tried it all, to be honest. You did it all? All right, so did it all. <laughs> like we talked about, right, so you balance between basketball and track. So right. growing up as a kid, how many sports did you ever juggle like at one time? Like what was the most amount of sports you ever juggled with? Most probably three. I was doing it was three? soccer. It was soccer added on. Yeah. Okay, so sure. I think it's safe to assume that what track and field and a basketball you tied two sports and then soccer was your third. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you still play soccer to this day, like for fun? I mean, <laughs> I'll try it now. I probably lost some of my skill. I haven't done it in a minute, so. Right. I'll try it though. Okay, for sure. You got a favorite soccer team? Nah. <laughs> he said, you don't watch soccer? <laughs> <laughs> he uh, said, nah. Nah. Okay, for sure. All right, well, well, like I mentioned, so you balance between two sports now. And like I was talking right, about, right. and this is on your Instagram, this is on your press sports, but you're the number one two-sport athlete in the U.S. And so was this something you always envisioned yourself doing growing up? And, um, I mean – do you have aspirations of being a professional athlete? Definitely, definitely. Why do it if you're not trying to go all the way, you know? And of course. that's how I look at it, you know? Nah, facts. It sounds like a dumb question, but some folks out there, they'd have different answers. And so all this right. is a two-part question. Um, So I'm going to ask again, was this something you envisioned growing up? And if you had, I guess, complete control over it, and obviously you talked about you had plans of going professional, would that be in track or would that be in basketball? Either one. I'm blessed yeah, to do. I'm blessed to do both, you know. So either one, track. I'm good at track and basketball. So whichever yeah. one, you know, I'm taking it to the top for sure. Okay, hey, that's what. Hey, you love to hear, right? So growing up as a kid, this is all planned thing. Like you envision yourself doing this. <laughs> no, really. I mean, really, my goal was to do aviation, and then mm -hmm. um, I wanted to try out sports too. And then when I was younger, uh, about I'd say like in the Six, I think it was six or seventh grade. I tried out to play basketball and I didn't make the team. They told me I wasn't good enough, you know. And and from that point forward, it's just like <clears throat> I, I just went crazy just in the gym working every single day because they told me, you know, as a kid, you don't you never want to hear, you know, you're not good enough, you know, to play a sport, you know. And and I remember that to this day. It pushed me and motivated me to this day because, you know, they told me I wasn't good enough, you know, try and come back and and see if you could to, could do it again, you know. And they laughed at me, you know. So right. I'm the one laughing now, you know, as you see. So <laughs> uh, it's, all, it's all cool. And I just stayed in the gym, stayed persistent, and, and, and that's what happened. At 100, bro. And, and this is actually a quote that I have written down on one mm -hmm. of the whiteboards in my room. But mm -hmm. I have it written down as they laughed at me when I said I had next. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so it's like, it's crazy that you say that. And I'm a retired athlete. You know, I, I, mm -hmm. I play football. I did a little bit of track and right. field myself. Um, but back in the day, in seventh grade, I got rejected as well by my seventh grade coach. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember in the locker room, I, I, I was crying, you know, because I knew I belonged on that that's, team. And that's how I was, all honesty. You know, I can't, I was hurt. You know, it took me, yeah. it took me a while to bounce back. 
And then, and then somebody close to me asked me, what am I going to do about it? You know? And I took that like, man, like, what am I going to do about it? Am I going to sit here and, and, and just and keep cry crying? About it, you know, or am I going to go after it and okay, show them like, okay, you messed up, you know? And that's what I chose to do. Like, okay, you messed up. You don't want me. Okay. That's cool. And, and we got in the gym and that's what we did Monday through Sunday, you know? And, and, and that's what I strive for. You know, you got to be hungry for it. You know, if you're not hungry for it, then, then it, you might not go far, but you got to be hungry for it. You got to be ready to be knocked down and get back up, you know, mm-hmm. 10 times stronger, you know, and that's, and that's something that, you know, I, I think I've been pretty good at. So, yeah. Hey, 1000 percent, bro. And I'm glad that's something that we can kind of, you know, relate to, you know what I mean? Right. Just because I feel like with a lot of people, um, mentally when when obstacles you know get in their way Mm -hmm. sometimes they just like you know i'm gonna stay down you know what i mean but other times you got other people other folks like you getting back up twice as many times right so um you know i I feel like a lot of people especially the fans people that will tune into this interview later on they definitely gonna have a lot to soak in you know from your experience from your journey um but my man dylan bro so we talked about it in the introduction you got a whole bunch of accomplishments, a whole bunch of things that you've done so far in your athletic career. So talk to me about some of your biggest accomplishments, not only in athletics, but also in life. Um, in athletics, you know, Junior Olympics. I mean, my sophomore year, I won Junior Olympics. But before that, it was it was the small things just from just from making the team. You know, that to me is probably the top accomplishment of, OK, like I'm, I actually did that, you know, because that right there really – propel me to go forward, you know, that small accomplishment of, okay, next year, like, okay, Dylan, he didn't, he didn't been working, <laughs> you know, just from them seeing that, like, okay, we could tell he, he, he definitely been in the gym working because I came back the next year being probably one of the best players, the strongest players coming back in the gym, you know? So um, from that to freshman year, you know, playing on varsity, doing, going to varsity meets as a freshman, um, winning all conference, and then going to state as a sophomore in high school, you know, from from getting injured, you know, to coming back and then be re-ranked again, you know, after losing it all, you know, getting it all, then losing it all, then getting it again, you know. So it's those are to me my biggest accomplishments, you know. So <clears throat> for sure, but we'll and we're gonna backtrack just a little bit, but you know, we were we were talking about motivational quotes, and I noticed in your press sports bio and your banner it says focus on you until the focus oh, is on you. you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So right. just briefly, bro, you don't got to touch on it too much, but uh, talk to me about what that quote means to you. It, it means a lot because it's just like you you stay down, you you focus on you, you know, you can't really be focused on anybody else, you know. And me with my goals, you know, I'm, you, you got to be serious. If you want to go far, you got to be serious about your goals. You got to be really tapped in. Like, this is something that I want to do for real, you know. And, and once you once you get that to your head, like, okay, this is something that I want to do for real, then and, and you put that you put that pressure to it, then you really gonna do it for real. So, like I said with the quote, focus on you, stay down until the focus is on you, and and that's not and. The focus being on you is not something that you should worry about. You know, that's going to let that come naturally. Don't, don't, don't put the focus on you on purpose. You know, let that come to you naturally. Don't, don't do anything that's, you know, that's not of your character, you know, to just have some focus on you, attention on you and stuff like that, you know. So, no, nah, facts. And, and when you locked in, when you tapped in, you know, into your craft, when you dedicate right. yourself, when you, you know, when you're, uh, when you lose yourself in a grind, it's going to come natural mm-hmm. anyway. You know what I mean? Right. It's really a byproduct. It's really a result of all the hard work, all the hours, you know, the countless uh, and the sleepless nights that you put into it. It's going to come natural. And so, you know, I feel like, and again, I can't stress this enough. Just put in the work. It'll come natural. Um, but Dylan, but I got to ask, you sound like, you know, a person who who's not only very motivational, but obviously you put in the work. So do you have any sort of inspirations, anybody that you look up to, anybody that you've aspired to be? Who I aspire to be, you know, I aspire to be my best self, you know, me. You go. You know, and 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 that's what you gotta do. Um, I'm the first, I'm the first in my family to do this. I don't know if anybody else can relate, but you know, this is you know, this is my path, and I'm trying to, you know, take the path with the least resistance, you know, going up, you know, not just flatlining or going, you know down you know i'm trying to go up with the least resistance so 
Um, I'm just really just focused on me and, and just trying to be a better version of me every single day. You know, and somebody told me, you know, you can't get 1% better every day, try and get 0.5% better every day, and then it's going to become consistent. Mm -hmm. So that's what I try and do every day. So when I'm in practice, you know, I try and get that 1% every day. Like, okay, I did better than I did yesterday, you know. You know, try and do better than I did the day before, you know. If I, if I went hard the next day, the last practice, I'm going to try and go even harder this one just mm -hmm. to be consistent and just to get better, you know. And that's how I look at it. No, and that's the right mindset. That's the right mentality. I mean, and you kind of, you know, took it out of my mouth because I was actually going to touch on that myself. You know what I mean? Because something I aspire to do, something I strive to do each and every single day is, is get better. You know, whether that's 1%, 0.5, like you talked about, 0.1, right. 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Right. As long as it's not negative, as long as it's not zero, you feel me? Right. And so, because if you're not doing nothing, if you're not getting better, you're just getting worse. You know what I mean? That, that's not what we want to do. It's especially if you're on this journey, especially if you're on this path and you're striving for greatness. And so, hey, right. damn, that's music to my ears. Um, but we right. talked about, you know, what keeps you going and who you aspire to be. What's your biggest motivation in life? What's your biggest influence in life? Uh, my biggest motivation is just reaching that top level. So when I'm so when I'm older, you know, I can look back like, man, I, I did that. You know, right. I, and, and that's. That's what I, you know, when I envision, you know, when I'm done with the sport, you know, when I'm done, not able to do it anymore, you know, I want to look back and just think like, man, like I, I, I did some good things, you know, and that's my biggest motivation. Mm -hmm. Okay. No doubt, bro. No doubt. So now we're going to touch on your, your time and what you've been doing over at Arizona State University. <laughs> But before we do that, talk to me about the recruiting process, bro. What was that experience like? And why did you ultimately choose ASU? I mean, I seen it on your gram, bro. You had offers from UC USD, UCLA, to everywhere, on, literally, right? And so yeah. what 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 about ASU made that special and why'd you end up choosing it? Um, I actually chose ASU pretty late. So I had took an injury. Like I said, I've experienced if you're not ready to get knocked up and down, then don't don't get on this journey. So it's um, a roller coaster. Yeah, it's, 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 it's going to go up and down. So, um, you know, I, I took an injury my senior year and, mm. and it, you know, it brought me down. Like I said, I've had ups and downs my entire career. So it brought me, it brought me down for a little bit. Mm. And I had to basically just basically take a cut to my scholarships where I was planning on going. So, mm -hmm. but I just felt like, man, like I know, I'm down right now, but when I'm up fully healthy, I know what I can do. I know what I can produce. So for you to, you know, kind of for you to take away, you know, some scholarship, some scholarship money from me, you know, I kind of took that personal and I put it to the grind. Like I say, now I'm at Arizona State. They recruited me. I talked to Coach Ellis, Coach Hurley, and and those are the two coaches for ASU track and ASU basketball. So, you know, I talked to them and they were just like, hey, you know, I see it in you still. And I, mm -hmm. And to me, it, to me, that was more than like, hey, we just want to offer you scholarship money. You know, we want to we want to give you 40 grand per semester, you know, to attend this school. You know, it's more it's bigger than that. You know, I want to feel like, OK, you want me here. You know, you know, we let, let's, let's be great. And I got that vibe from Arizona State, you know, because that's that's really what it is. When you're choosing these schools, you want to you want to make sure it's somewhere that you feel comfortable at. And, I, and I'm from Chicago, so I wanted to go somewhere hot, you know. So that was even – that was – you know, I had a lot of offers, but I knew in the back of my head, you know, I was staying somewhere hot. You know, I was going somewhere hot. So right. it fit right in perfectly. Man, that's dope. I seen that too, that you from the Windy City. Or, I mean, yeah. I, I know it's something called Chicago, but – yeah. Uh, and, my, my bad, but I hate to, to really touch on this, but mm -hmm. what kind of injury did you suffer your senior year in high school? Was it like so – my senior, So my senior year in high school, I kind of suffered two injuries. I suffered one. I was doing – I suffered one during a meet. It was to my hip, my lower hip, uh, like my tailbone area, and I was running doing a long jump, and all of a sudden I just felt like a shift in, like, my bones, it felt like. So, you know, I had to sit out the rest of the season, and – and it really hurt me, you know, because that year, you know, ever since my sophomore year and above, when I first made that state meet, you know, I've been projected to win state ever since, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that one hurt me because junior year COVID happened. We didn't get a state meet in Chicago. So senior year was like, okay, this is like the sunset exit where, you know, you win state, 
you know, basketball, you didn't, you, we, we did all right. You know, we didn't do as best, you know, as best as we could, but we did all right. But track, you know, this is a solo event. You know, you walk off and you win that state chip. It's nothing better than that. You're going into college with, with you know, a head full of steam ready to get after it. So, but um, the injury happened and it kind of took that away. So I had to really just, I looked at it like, you know, you know, it's, I'm, giving me an early chance to train for college pretty much. That's how I looked at it. So I didn't really, right. I tried to keep my head positive and just look at it like a positive pretty much. Like it just giving me time to relax, get ready for college and get, and get my head space in the right area. So that's kind of how I looked at it. And I'm with it, bro. I mean, you know what they say, God only gives his toughest battles to his toughest soldiers. Boy, and so right. for you to have recovered and for you to have bounced back from that, you know, that's definitely something that I feel like the viewers and the audience can definitely take away from. Um, but Dylan, I know we touched on this earlier, but I'm gonna need a straight answer, buddy. So between track and basketball, which uh, one do you have a passion for more? You say which one I like more? Yeah, like which one do you have a passion for more? Uh probably basketball because see track, track. I started all honesty, I started doing track. My sister did track in high school and college. She went to Indiana State University. And you know, I I was thinking about doing track, but you know. My basketball coach, my freshman basketball coach, he was like, hey, you know, you got a lot of bounce. You know, you should become a jumper and and, and let's let's think about doing track. And I'm like, okay, like, you know, and really I was thinking about basketball. So I was just kind of trying to push him out the way, you know. And he was <laughs> like, well, you know, track jumping can help you with dunking. And then we said that. I was like, oh, okay, okay. This that's music to my ears. Okay, let me get track a shot. And then from freshman year, I broke the freshman record 40 feet. Then I went to 45 feet. You know, and and forty eight feet, and now we in college jumping over fifty feet. So that just show, you know, just putting in that time and work. You know, once I started, I'm trying to be the best at it, and that's how I look at it. Otherwise, why even get into it, right? I mean, some yeah. folks I feel like just there for the ride, but I'm not just there for the ride. I'm here for it all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm order for gear. You know, I'm, I'm trying to. I got goals. You know, and, I'll be. And like I say, with me, you know, I always say, like, don't look up. Really, you know. You know, we all we all are uh, equal, you know, so don't look up to me. Look up to my execution, you know, look up to my execution skills because I, I made a goal every year and I made a plan to execute it. So mm -hmm. and 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 that's the biggest thing when you're trying to accomplish like major goals that you have, you got to be great at execution. So execution. that's the biggest thing to accomplish those goals. Right, and it really just comes down to discipline, bro. I know this isn't apples to apples, but you know how they say, don't hate the player, hate the game. Well, right. when I when I think of that statement, I can kind of flip that in this situation and, mm -hmm. you know, kind of piggyback off and piggyback riding off of what you said. You said, don't admire or don't aspire to be the player, aspire the execution, aspire, yeah. you know, the, the consistency, the, the discipline. Look, the drive, you know, look at the drive that I have. Look up to the drive that I have, you know. That exactly. I, Match I my hustle. And, and try to conquer it every single year, you know, so. Okay, there you go. And, and but I know we touched on this earlier, bro, but how do you manage the balance between the two? Because, I mean, a lot of folks out there, they find it hard enough to balance just one sport. So how do you do that with two D1 sports? <clears throat> it's staying focused, you know, in high school, in high school, I looked at it like high school was prepping me to, to when I get to college, like, okay, like, it's start, like, I, I look at it like this, I, I break everything down pretty simple, if you haven't noticed it by now, but I look at it like, <clears throat> it's, it's the foundation up, you know, you can't build a, you can't build a building without, the, without, without having a great foundation, you know, like a house, you know, the house that you're in right now, the house that I'm in right now, you know, it has great foundation to keep us up. So that's the only way to go up, having great foundation. So, mm -hmm. like I said, with high school, it was developing me to, to stay focused, have that discipline, you know, and get ready for what college has to, what's, what's bringing my way, you know. So I felt like I was ready for it, you know. Getting up early, I already did that in high school because I used to, school started at 6 a.m. I'm up at 4 a.m. taking 100 shots, you know, for basketball because I wanted it, you know. That's how bad I wanted it. So after school, school ended three o'clock. Okay, we got practice, practice from three to five. Okay, that's cool. After practice, I'm getting recovery in or I'm working some more towards my craft. So, and in college, I'm doing the same thing. It's just at, it's just at different times. It's just not at three o'clock no more. It might be in the morning or in the afternoon. So mm -hmm. that's just how it is. 
Man, bro, that's that's real crazy, bro. I wanted to point out an observation that I made because, you know, I was going through your press sports profile, and I think in one of your posts it was like NBA draft or school one more year. And mm -hmm. so, bro, I mean, have you had any sort of contact? Is that something that you feel like you're going to be leaning more towards or – Cause I don't, I don't, I didn't see the day from when you posted that. Mm -hmm. So has it been uh, a while since you posted that? It hasn't been that long, but uh, that, oh, was just, been that, long. that was something to really just get the people commenting and get the people looking, you know, just like, okay, like showing like, okay, Dylan Peters got that, that option, you know, of what he wants to do, you know? And like I say, it's, it's really, you know, I put a goal up and I try and conquer that goal. So that's one of the goals, you know? And and that post could be used even if I don't, you know, that post could be used for me like, OK, that's the end goal, you know, so trying to accomplish that. And that's how I look at it. No, nah, for sure, bro. For sure. You do. You know, you plan on the highest scale. So, you know, if you if you nervous, don't come along. So really, you got to leave those nerves at home and just go out there and show what you can do, to be honest. No, nah, facts. So is, is it a meet that you got over there? Bro? <clears throat> no, it's, it's the USA Juniors. Oh, it's the USA. Oh, so we talking about a different sport then. This is for hoop. Yeah. Okay, this is for hoop. Okay, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Man, how long are you guys gonna be out there for? Uh, about two weeks. About two weeks. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Uh, you know, I've been training. You know, I've been working, training. We was up in Colorado, the USA Olympic mm -hmm. facilities up there. So we've been working, getting the plays down. It's a lot of plays. You know, getting in the weight room and. Just doing, you know, getting after it, to be honest. So, <clears throat> really, I'm, I'm prepared for it. We practiced long enough, so now it's just it, it, practice meet that opportunity, and, and it's the opportunity. So, and now I get to show what I can do. So, pretty much. Yeah, ain't no such yeah. thing as luck. You know what I mean? Right. It's, it's what you just said. I mean, it's when – it's when um, man, I forgot the quote, but you, you said it. Um, <laughs> but, hey, Dylan – we gonna transition forward now to press sports, and so right, I gotta right. ask, how'd you hear about press sports? You know, I heard about it through the friends on my team who was using it. I'm like, okay, y'all want to let me let me get on there too, see what it's about. So, and that's what I did. You know, I got on there, and I'm still on there using it to this day, looking at the new recruits and and looking at who who I want to play with. You know, I'm looking on there, swiping. Like, okay, he, he look pretty good. Oh, he cool. He cool. Oh, he like, nice. He look pretty good. Let me. Let me click on his profile. Let me get him a follow. See what, see what he's talking about just to keep track of him, you know? So, right. I mean, and, and that's what happened. You know, you get, you know, when you get to certain levels, you can look at, like, kind of who you want to play with, you know, and, and hey, coach, check, check this dude out. Like, get, get on this app. Check this dude out and see, you know, see if you like him. See, can he mold into our team what we got going on, you know? And if he can, he can, you know? So, that's that's really why I'm on there looking looking for the next talent. Like the other coaches that's on there, they looking for the next talent too, you know? And, and this guy's on there too. Right. And that's what I say. So we, you know, it's not just the coaches. It's, it's players like myself too. I'm looking, I'm looking who on there even for track. Okay. He, he look like he could jump for real. Okay. Let me, right. he look like he's pretty quick. Let me, let me see what he's looking, talking about. So I'm, I'm on there too, looking, scouting, you know? So that's what it is. Man, that's what's up, bro. Real quick, though, to everybody out there that's listening to all the fans, be sure to fan up my man right there, uh, Dylan <laughs> Peters, on the Press Sports app. And forgive me if I got this wrong, but his username is di 11 on P. Is that what it is? OMP, yeah. OMP, oh, yeah. oh, my fault. Yeah, I mean, just uh, while we at it, bro, just plug, your, plug yourself real quick. Plug your Twitter, your Instagram, whatever other social media handles you want to put out there for the folks. Instagram, di 11 omp same as my Press Sports, or you can go on my Press Sports bio and click on my Instagram from there, fan it up on Press, press Sports. So. For sure. Yeah, y'all be sure to fan that up, man, for real. Whole bunch sure. of stuff, whole lot of stuff y'all don't want to miss. Um, But Dylan, bro, I got one more question for you before we wrap things up. So obviously, you know this, I mean, you talked about it, but Press Sports has thousands and thousands of athletes, not just athletes, coaches, scouts, media, fans and whatnot that use the app every single day. So what tips do you have for those that juggle between multiple sports? And do you have any advice for those looking to reach the college or looking to reach the pinnacle of college athletics, which is D1? Stay focused, stay locked in. You know, if this is something that you want, stay focused because – I put it like this. I had a picture on my home screen, you know, when I was coming out of high school, you know, just to keep me grounded and stay locked in. Um, it was a picture, you know, it was from NCAA. You know, they showed a complete breakdown for each year, how many kids go to Division One, And 
and you know me, like I said, I was a when I was in high school, I had I had a new goal for every year. I had about five different goals for every year that I just wanted to check off the list every year. Mm-hmm. And one of them was Division One. Now freshman year when I started, we got to high school and seemed like okay, you know they giving they they letting kids go to college for free. You know if you just if you just compete. So like I say, I I, I made that goal and. You got to do the same thing. You got to make that goal. Like, okay, you want to go Division One, and and definitely check out the NCAA because they give you the breakdown over two million kids in America. You know, playing basketball for the class of twenty, whatever class you are. You know, and they give you the breakdown of okay, only about eleven thousand go Division One. You know, and that's, that's about bad. you know only about five percent go Division One, even for track. You got track over a million kids in America high school. For this class that, that want to go division or that's going division one, you know, and it's probably about five thousand, you know, because track gets less scholarships than basketball. So um when you break that down, that's about five it's less than it's less than seven percent for both sports, less than seven percent go division one. And then even probably less than that go pro. So mm-hmm. when you look at that, that should be your motivation of okay, I, I gotta I gotta work for real because it's not gonna be easy. So you, you got to get on press sports, uh, you, and you got to show what you can do to show these coaches that you that you can compete for real, you know, because you got to stand out. That's that's what it is. You got to stand out. And that's the real. That's the real out there. So if you guys are listening, be sure to take your notes and, and be a sponge. I mean, because I try to tell folks all the time, I try to be a sponge, you know, in any situation, wherever I go. You just want to soak it all in, you know, soak up all that game. Um, right. But Dylan, feel me? But Dylan Bo, you know what they say. Time flies when you're having fun. So before uh, you go, <laughs> right? That's what I'm saying. Um, hey, we definitely gonna do this again. But Dylan, for bro, sure. one more time for sure. Uh, put your Instagram handles out there, bro. The floor is yours. Whatever you want to tell the folks. Uh, whatever you got going on next. Just any sort of announcements. Let the people know. Stay. I just want to say, stay, stay, stay motivated. Really, for the for the kids, man. For real, stay, stay motivated. Stay locked in because. Like I say, it's a roller coaster. You know, I've had times where you know you, you're not you're really not the only one. You know, that's had times that's that's up and down. You know, I've been, you know, I've had my sophomore year. I started getting offers. You know, and next year, you know, I'm battling an injury where I can't even move my shoulder, or my hip. You know, and and you lose it all. You know, and you gotta you gotta get back up and say, okay, this is you know, we, I gotta keep going. I can't just sit down. I gotta keep going. So. Stay locked in. You know, it's tough times right now, you know, with the pandemic kind of somewhat easing up a little bit. But stay locked in. Stay focused for real. It's rough, but it's going to be worth it in the end for real. And wise words from a wise fella. Again, this is your boy, Steezy A. Smith with Press Sports featuring Mr. Dylan Peters. Uh, Let's give it up for him, man. Let's give it a virtual round of applause. Um, (laughs) (laughs) You feel me? But, hey, we signing off, though. Again, don't forget to download the Press Sports app. And be sure to fan of my man's Dylan Peters on the Press Sports app. That's it for us, y'all. Peace.